Here at Doug Kingsmore Stadium, it's game two of this weekend set for the Clemson Tigers and Louisville Cardinals. Clemson got a 6-3 win in Friday's opener, so here's what the ACC standings look like in the Atlantic. Tigers hanging in there in second place. They put another game of distance between themselves and Louisville, and you see what's going on over in a much tighter coastal division race. Hi, everybody, and welcome in with Ron Smith, Pete Yannity. And that Tigers victory Friday, Ron, really indicative of how they played during the stretch in which they've won 13 of their past 17. Now yeah, they've been very resilient. It seems as if a team will score several runs in the top of the inning and just like last evening with Amex two run home run they did it again last night. Now Louisville was one of the preseason favorites in the ACC but they found life tough in the conference in part because of a lot of injuries but a guy they've recently gotten back is their shortstop Christian Napchik. I know you were impressed with him in Friday's game. Well, I really like him uh, defensively he's got really good hands good range strong arm and a nice field presence out there and he's also a, an offensive threat hitting 331 out of the leadoff spot and to get him back in the lineup is key for them. Meanwhile, Clemson freshman center fielder Cam Canarella continues to impress. He's knocking on the door of a 400 batting average. He had his fifth four hit game on Friday. Well, he has been remarkable, a, a model of consistency from the very beginning. Uh, he's played with a lot of poise and, and uh, has really good baseball savvy and uh, just does an outstanding job. Starting lineup for the Louisville Cardinals, Dan McConnell, their head coach, doing some juggling. Napchick in the leadoff spot, but JT Benson will bat second in left field. Ryan McCoy will catch once again. Patrick Forbes, good looking freshman for them, gets the start for the age. Anderson and King, followed by Keelan. And then Beard and Humphrey rounding out the starting nine that Austin Gordon, the Tiger starter, making his 12th start of the season. Sophomore out of Myrtle Beach and delivers. The first pitch fouled away by Napchik. Clemson got really good pitching yesterday. Looking for that same thing today from Austin Gordon. Gordon, the guy they tell us can be very effective in keeping the ball down. Stays outside one and two. And I was impressed to hear he throws five different pitches. Yeah. <laughs> That, that is remarkable. Most guys, some guys, when they get into the big leagues, they might become that that savvy in terms of being able to, to control five different pitches. Most guys in college stick with three, maybe four, but five's a bit unusual. Gordon pitched three innings against the Cardinals a year ago, did not factor in the outcome of the game. Three hits, struck out six, allowed three hits and three runs, and a called strike three. Gets the Cardinals in order. The last two swinging and then looking. Tigers trying to secure a series win behind their starter, Austin Gordon. And Clemson is coming up. A little bit to call a breaking pitch. And that one that behind was... McCoy. Here comes the runner. Flip to the plate. Safe. Safe is Bertram with the first run of the game. And again, for that very reason, you're hesitant to call a breaking pitch that goes into the dirt. You've got your fourth string catcher in the ball game, and, and that's the result. Good decision, Bertram. As soon as that ball got away, it didn't get all that far away, but he was breaking. Uh, you know, I think with two outs, you want to be very, very aggressive there. Backhanded Blackwell, fast man running, long throw, and Grice doesn't hurt to have a 6'6 yeah. first baseman either. <laughs> nice job on both ends. Four times in this game, Austin Gordon has retired the Cardinals in order. Tigers have a 1-0 lead, middle of the six. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Hughes getting his first save of the season. Ninth strikeout of the game for Tigers pitching, and Clemson clinching another ACC series back-to-back -back wins here at Doug Kingsmore Stadium over the Louisville Cardinals.